these got delivered today. Raw CNC 1.5. I got a little bit excited. So I haven't fully opened it. Just had a quick peek in the top of this. And to be honest with you, I was going to just like go through everything. But the box was so nicely packed. That I couldn't do it with that shit. That's all the components. And that's all the metal. So, let's get a bit comfy. Open everything and go through everything that comes with a standard rule 1.5 CNC. So I'm going to start with the metal extrusions. It's the longest package. It means I can stack it back up on the table. by 20 each one should be two clamps and bars in it larger one on the top smaller one on the bottom and then there's two more where they're the same length with the clamp in the rail 80 by 20 so there's 480 by 20 80 by 20 again for the Z. And don't forget the heavy linear rails and the lead screw for the Z. Right. Let's move on to the other box. So we've got the other box, it's a bit heavy. Apparently the machine, when it's fully put together, will weigh around 50 kilos. So I've gone for the updated version with the updated drivers, the better drivers rather than just the Arduino and Gerbil. So it comes with a parallel port, so parallel cable, controller board, for the power, axis, you read that? I read it at the same time. Other drivers. <laughs> Power supply. And yes, we've got a nice power supply. 350 watt, 24 volt. Just remember, always check this. You don't want to plug it into 240 at one time. Why it's set to one time? You'll be looking for a new one. I just want to see this place of us. 
believe these are for the sides. More plates again for the sides. I shouldn't do that because Z plates. Oh wait. Yeah, I don't know what about side plates. Oh, lovely box here of wiring. Some nice shielded cable, some more nice shielded cable, oh cool, emergency stop, and this band, some speed connectors, some 2020, I believe this is for the actual power box, some lovely cable chain. Really nice quality. Nice and strong. Oh, I can plug that for ages. Some plastic. So if I believe. See, I've been watching videos. You've got to prepare yourself, haven't you, for this? And I believe that might be something like this. I say I believe, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not actually going to push that in there. But some M5 20mm. Everything you need, this is awesome. M4 20mm. USB. It's a micro USB. 30mm flathead screws. Very nice end up. Power switch. M5 times 12 mil screws. Nope, bolts. Some heat shrink. Awesome. Some M5 nuts. That's it for that box. There's another box here. Let's go through this one. Some more screws, M5 times 20. Bearings. M8 times 16. Corner bracket. Corner bracket. Corner bracket. M5 12mm. I don't know why I'm holding these. Iron or pieces. M8 25mm washers. M5 screw nuts. M8 times 25mm. Hex bolts. M5 16mm. Very nice belt. Have some more and stops. Spacer 35 mil. T nuts M5. M5 16 mil. Cylindrisk. In 2020 brackets. They're pretty cool. Some more corner brackets. LED. M6 knots, M4 20mm, M8, M6 25mm, 30mm flathead screws, M4 knots, M4 times 16mm, 32mm screw, flathead. M5 16mm bearing bearing 2 of 
M5 times 50 mil. M5 times 8 mil. M8 times 25 mil. M5 times 12 mil. M8 16 mil washers. M8 35 mil bolts. It's anti backlash thing. But. M5 knots, M8 washers, M6 16mm, motor coupling, these are your linear rail clamps, linear bearing, alright, put this back and move on to the next, I love the way this is packaged. The main side plate. These must be the motors. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Heavy duty. Lovely. Three amp, one point eight degrees per step. Right, let me get down to the last bits, the electric box. Now it's figuring everything out. Putting it all together. So stay tuned for that one. Don't worry, I'll be straight on it.